Now at noon, we start with breaking news on the city's east side. That's where police say a person has been critically injured in a dog attack. As of our last update, the dog is still loose somewhere in that neighborhood. CBS 4's Eric Graves is live with us right now about what happened. Eric, you just spoke to a witness there just a few minutes ago. Yeah, Zach, the witness I spoke with uh, lives in this house right behind me here. She says she and her grandmother this dog ran up on them and they ran inside. I'll step out of the way here and give you a closer look at what this scene looks like. Pretty basic here. I'm told that the dog stayed near their house. They went into the backyard of this home and that is where the grandpa, her grandfather, tried to come out and shoo the dogs away and that is when those dogs attacked him. She said he was bit several times. They did call IMPD. Once IMPD got here, they fired at the dog to try and get the dogs away to try and uh, get rid of the threat, but the dogs ran off. They say this was two dogs that were a part of this. She says she has no idea whose dogs these are, but the attack was terrifying. I kind of went around there to try to shoo him off, and they was just attacking him on his arms, his legs, and we don't know the extent of his injuries right now. Um, a few people um, today said things like this has happened, like somebody um, around the corner said the dogs was chasing their kids off the bus stop, and... We have seen IMPD officers around the neighborhood. Holly told me that they've been looking for those two dogs, trying to follow a blood trail. She says uh, that there was from her backyard as those dogs ran off after that officer fired his weapon. There is also IACS is here on scene, Indianapolis Animal Care Services. An investigator is checking out the backyard where the attack happened. Zach? All right, Eric, thank you very much. I know they've been looking into records as well about the number of uh, dog bites and dog attacks. attacks. These are numbers they track year by year. Yeah, they absolutely are. And this is not an uncommon thing at all in the city. We're sitting uh, for 2023. There were more than 1,100 bites, and that number has gone up uh, tremendously over the last few years. Just in 2020, uh, that dog bites reported number to IACS for Indianapolis was in the 700. So that's a, a 400 a bite increase just over the last few years. Reporting here on the east side, Eric Graves, CBS 4 News.